信愿心，是佛教的先书、先方向，大家人亲近。感恩少年创作主者医疗，我阮有志工合作，这个主者团队伫乌暗的所在来发光发亮。藏人其实在整个的实际的呃推动上面，其实他也有思考到说如何把这个人文带进来，也把慈善好的功能发挥到更大。啊，所以这个其实就是一个呃慈善与医疗哦的相结合。我们跟会众在互动的时候，哦，你可以看着哦，你穿着这个这个制服，那我就知道啊，你是慈济的职工。那这时候，不管是说我是蓝色的、灰色的，或者是白色，好，或者是慈青的颜色，对不对？这个时候你看到的哦，这些都是代表慈济的师兄姐们哦，然后他们来服务那。我会众看到的时候，他就很很简单的，就很容易就发哦，知道说我要跟你们做做做做沟通点啊。可是这整个层面就带出来，就是我们实际的一个人文的呈现。啊、uh, ，the the um about the X-ray of the before and、uh, how we doing the us、uh, uh, using the X-ray to serve the, all the patient top from the top top right to left is a one. To 16, the button from the left to to right, 17 to 32. This one we call the by wing. You'll be only taking the top of the teeth, and you're also going to be taking a picture of the bone that's holding the teeth in. Yeah. Okay. Because that that's a, you have to put this one in the inside the mouth, the the behind the the teeth. So. Then you can then asking the the patient to buy, right. and then then the hold up, okay. Um, X-ray. So this very simple. You just need to click. Okay, that's it. I'm almost ready. So the gun will be used in this way. So you have to be in the cent center so they can you know the touch to the sensor. In the uh the teeth. You see the patient and the do we put on. Sometimes we put this one. 今年也是有这个机会，把过去几年那自己学的啊，有想到的，有看到的，能够让这些新的这些职工们也能够一起来，因为这一块是很大的。因为，呃，我们是上人讲到嘛，这个我们的其实是我们平都是从病病，因为生病而而来。所以说，我们希望的就是说，把这一块能够把这个让大家呢都能够从去解除这个病痛啊，那我们怎么来去帮忙他？所以就我是觉得，呃，有这一块的呃机会来服务啊，让大家一起来合作，然后一起来学习，不只是帮助别人，也是帮助自己。那个再往后面面拉一点点 ，push out, push out, push out. Yeah. Because 那这一次的主题，我们呃着重在分享怎么样对呃紧急措施的时候大家的反应。所以呃这个如果没有靠平时的训练，呃通常很多时候呃我们没有办法去反应
去处理这个紧急措施。那啊、嗯，因为时间的关系，所以我们是分成几个部分。我希望说，职工能够有一技之长在身，那随时随地我们都有能力能够增加我们自己的能力，然后用我们自己的良能去帮助这个社区。And then there's also one more knob up here. Our hand is right here. This is also a stop the boost button. This one. This one stops the boost. This is the goes into the machine. We have two holes here. Okay. One is all silver, and the other one, if you look really close, if you want to like take a peek down here, there's a blue plastic ring around it. Blue is for water. And if it's, if it's a little bit less tricky to do, sometimes you'll hear a little ping as the spring snaps back. Well, I think this time, this is our third um, dental training experience. I think we've covered a lot of ground. Um, hopefully, going forward, we'll be uh, ready for uh, our health day in September. I do think we still have to go over um, patient intake because after talking about a lot of, you know, how to um, treat the patient when we when they get in with the dental chair, with um, the dental assisting, with the sterilization, with, and today with CPR, I think that's all very important. Important. But another thing is, you know, to be prepared. Um, and I think going forward, we'll try and look into um, talking about patient intake and how important that is to, um, you know, see what the patient is coming in with um, and how to treat them coming in. Because again, it's best uh, um, the best way to prevent something from happening is to be prepared. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, it's been really exciting today. Uh, I see a lot of familiar faces. Um, it's glad to see people coming back uh, and being supportive of, our, of this program. Uh, and I'm excited to work, come back in September. Yeah. <笑>我的這個這個關啊這個這個地方要往後 所以我就沒有做到,然後第二次也是因為人很多,我也是沒有輪到練習,今天好不容易兩個都練習到了,有裝那個椅子,把它立起來,然後又把它拆下去,然後也有去組裝那個機器,然後接每個那個接頭,所
，就对我们自己或者家人都是一个很大的帮助。那我就是非常的感恩那个慈呃慈济给我这个机会来参加这个活动。When you're 50 years above, you're high risk. You have chronic disease, diabetic, heart condition, lung condition, you're high risk. You have immuno sub disease, you're high risk. If you are organ transplant patient, you're high risk. So that population now is still recommended you should have the second booster. They always say medicine actually is not a sign. Medicine is an art. Walking, you are the second person you see someone collapse, okay? You don't know how to do, then we're gonna ask Matthew to uh, share his experiences. So you want to tap them on the shoulders very hard to make sure that they are indeed unresponsive. Uh, your second step uh, for people who are untrained is to start compressions, right? But before you do that, you want to fully expose the patient because for the AED you need to apply the pads directly on the chest. Um, you can't do that with clothes on um, and it's a lot easier to just get rid of the shirt at the beginning. It doesn't matter if the, if the patient's a male or a female. You take off the shirt, right? It's an emergency, no time for decency. This is the patient, right? And the hand placement is very simple. This is the nipple line. Your hand just goes right here, right? The way I visualize it is your middle finger right around where the, the nipple line is, and the heel of your hand is right at the center of the chest, right? So you go right here, and you just press down. Um, Very easy, you just push down hard and fast, 100 to 120 beats per second. Um, and sometimes when you do CPR, you are going to feel the ribs pop. Um, that's completely normal, it will be off-putting. And this is very tiring. So your goal is to have someone else come, and that's why you call 911 first, right? Because the average response time for ambulance or police is around eight to 10 minutes. And doing this for more than that is very, very tiring. To analyzing rhythm, no one has to touch the patient, no one can touch the patient. So you just make sure everyone is off of the patient. If it says shock advised, this orange button will start glowing. You make sure everyone is not touching a patient before you press this orange button. What it does is it sends electricity through the patient. Um, if you're touching it, you may be affected. You might in impact how the patient gets. There's two options. If you're getting tired and the other person knows how to do CPR, then they can switch out with you. So when you hear that, analyzing heart rhythm, do not touch the patient. Shock advised. Charging. Everybody clear? Stay clear of patient. Clear. Deliver shock now. Press shock delivered. Right. And as soon as it says shock delivered, you can start compressions immediately. Um, up until you see the person actually start moving. Um, you can check the pulse if you're comfortable. It's right by the side of the neck. Um, for, for many people, it's difficult, especially in a stressful situation, so it's no longer recommended. Um, and you can get an idea of when the patient is revived by if they start moving. If you are the only person, you call 911 first, and then meanwhile, you're just doing compression. And um, give them the direct 99 numbers because you don't know if your battery maybe is drained, your cell phone is not working. Uh, just everyone needs to learn it, right? Very, very important for everyone to learn it. More people who, who learn it, the, the greater the survival rate. Yeah, especially for new families, um, infants are high risk, especially um, with SIDS or sudden infant death syndrome. It's important to just recognize, you know, infant choking, infant CPR, it's all the same concept. Um, it's basically hard and fast center of the chest, but for kids and for infants, it is a little different, especially for choking protocols. Um, highly recommend a first responder class. Uh, American Heart Association does it. Um, Red Cross also does it. It's, it's around 
$50. It gives you a, a pretty comprehensive breakdown of medical emergencies, choking, and uh, CPR. But for people who, who can't afford that or who don't have the time to, um, it's very important to just recognize medical emergencies, whether that's stroke, choking, or heart attack. I um, mean, for CPR, the, the most basic, most boiled down version is hard and fast center of the chest. Hi, Ni Ha, I'm Jiao Jing Yun Wei, Helen Dam. I was in the school in the school. I was very happy to do the work, but I was too busy. I was busy, and I was married, and I was always busy. I was busy with Kitty. Kitty Yip. She said she was going to do the work here. She told me to come here. So I came here. How sad you guys are so good. 很照顾别人，我很开心。今天的课程有非常多的呃亲自体验和实践的部分，然后也让我亲身感受到了哦，原来呃就是医疗方面的工作不仅需要。很多的智慧，而且呢，也需要很多的耐心，需要，呃，很强的体力，需要有一个健康的身体，呃，所以我觉得，呃，这是我在今天活动当中非常大的一份收获。而且呢，我觉得，呃，我们的这个慈济人文学校呢，作为，呃，一个强调呃人文精神的这么一个组织呢，嗯、呃，在今天整个授课的过程中，把这种慈济的大爱的精神发挥得淋漓尽致，时刻不忘提醒大家，呃，就是从，嗯、呃。从病人、从患者、从一个人，或者说从生命的角度，呃，去感受或者说去呃学习和医疗相关的知识，然后呃从事医疗相关的工作，呃，时刻为患者着想，为病人着想啊、呃！我想这也是呃我呃今天呢在这儿呃非常大的收获之一。好玩呀， yeah. 很有意思。那个 X-ray， 那个 X-ray， because 我可以用英文。So I like intern at my dental office, and then sometimes they do X-rays, but I've never learned. Like what the what you really do and what the meanings mean, like the bite wing or the peri 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 apical. Yeah, peri apical. Yeah, so it's pretty interesting to see like what the images should look like and how you take it and from what angle. I also feel that the X-ray is very interesting. I also use English. Um, 我以前 when I used to like go to dentist office, I would always like ask like, oh, how does this work? How does that work? And I like never really got like a clear answer because、um, they're dentists and they're really busy. So like today, I was really able to like sit down and like learn how everything works. Oh, wow.